All right, welcome to Concealed California Bench Reviews. I'm Southpaw, and today we're going to be doing a review on my everyday carry gun, the Ruger SR9C. Now, when I bought this gun, it was on the California roster of not unsafe handguns, but it has since fallen off. You can still SSE it for the time being, but um, that may not be true for very long, and we'll talk about that sometime later. All right, first, what you get in the box. You get Ruger's SR series owner's manual. This is, you know, the same book for all the Ruger SR series handguns, 9 through 45, compact and full size. You get all their buy my stuff paraphernalia. You get one of their Ruger logo trigger locks, or gun locks I should say. You also get two 10 round magazines. Now, in California you get two 10 round magazines. In other free states you'll get a 10 round and a 17 round that comes with the Ruger full size SR pistol. You also get this handy little magazine loader which I use quite often when I'm at the range and I'm shooting, you know, several hundred rounds at a time. So, on to the gun itself. Now, being a, what used to be a California legal handgun, it comes with a myriad of, it comes with a myriad of all kinds of different safeties. You have a manual safety, which wasn't required. You also have this little trigger safety that's a passive safety. On the inside of the gun, you have a striker block for a drop safety. You also have a magazine disconnect safety. Now, the striker will click as if you had fired it with the magazine out, but it will not strike the primer. So just keep that in mind if you, you know, if you're doing dry fire practice or anything, that you will have to restage the striker if you know you fire with the magazine out. On to the uh, dimensions of the gun, it weighs in at just over 23 ounces, it's 23.4 ounces, so it's a little bit heavy, but having carried it, I find it not to be too cumbersome. Um, the width is 1.27 inches at the grip, the height is 4.6 inches, and the overall length is 6.8. Uh, the barrel is 3.5 inches. Um, another thing I really like about this gun is you get fully adjustable sights. They're the same ones you get on the Ruger full-size SR series. They're adjustable for both windage by drifting either the rear or front sight, and they're adjustable for elevation with a little screw right here. Now, another really cool thing about this gun is uh, it's got a striker indicator. I don't know if you can see it right here, but you can see that little dot there. As you pull the trigger, and I have already made sure the gun is clear, so just want to reiterate that. As you pull the trigger, you can see it come back. It is, it's basically, the action is a mixture of double and single action. It is a caulking, staging striker, but it still moves back a little bit as you pull the trigger. So as you pull the trigger, you can see it come back, and then as it fires, it'll disappear into the hole. So, as you're firing, you can always see if it's staged or not, because it'll be half cocked. And that's just another really cool thing I like about the gun. Not necessarily tactical, since uh, you can't uh, fire, I mean, you can't see it in the dark or anything like that. Now, when I bought, when I wanted to buy a handgun, I wanted to buy something that was, you know, mostly ambidextrous being left-handed, which, of course, is pretty hard when you're, I mean, when you're stuck to the uh, California legal guns. But it does have an ambi mag release. You don't have to switch anything out. It can just be pushed from both sides. It also has an ambidextrous manual safety, however, there are no markings on the right side of the gun. So, you can see there's a red, you know, dot there for fire, and there's a white dot when you actually push the safety up. But on the other side, there's just nothing. You just kind of have to know that up is safe and down is not. Now, this gun breaks down fairly simply. Just lock the slide to the back. On the inside, you're going to see this little ejector there, push that down, and then come to the other side of the gun, there's going to be three pins here, the big pin you want to push in, and it's a little stiff sometimes, so if you can't get it with your fingernails, I suggest using a small punch or something like that, flip it over, and this here will just slide right out, pull the slide back, pull it forward. After that, it breaks down just like any everyday Glock, you got your double recoil spring here, which some say it helps with the recoil. I'm not really sure about that. And then, of course, the barrel comes out like that, and then you're fully broken down. Additionally, you can take the striker out, and I might show that in a different video, um, but not today, because this is just a general overview. Another thing I do want to mention is this thing has a loaded chamber indicator, and it is actually a very serious loaded chamber indicator. It actually sticks up 
this far and almost gets in the way of the sights when the gun is actually loaded. It's usually red on both sides, but I guess the CLP I use kind of wore off the paint there. So that there is the Ruger SR9C. And stay tuned for a live fire review where me and Stumpy take it out to the range and uh, we talk about what we do and don't like about the gun. So if for Concealed California, this is Southpaw and have a great day.